And now, if we may direct your attention to the brown Swiss ring, our judges have completed their placings on this first class, the dry cows. I'd like to have our junior exhibitor take a step forward, please. The winning junior entry and third place in the class goes to entry 1660, RF Family Wonderment Fabulous, exhibited by Allison Rule of Abington, Illinois. Congratulations. Second place in the production award in the class goes to entry 1664. She is KB Cutting Edge P. Dawn, exhibited by Vagley Farm and Hillpoint Partners of Monticello, Wisconsin. P. Dawn had at five years of age, a 305 days, 24,521 pounds of milk with 1,253 pounds of fat and 821 pounds of protein. We'd also like to at this time recognize our bread and owned winner. She is also our third place entry and the junior winner, our Family Wonderment Fabulous, exhibited by Allison Rule of Abington, Illinois. And ladies and gentlemen, your first place entry in this dry cow class is entry 1665, Top Acres Supreme Wisp, exhibited by Wayne E. Slyker of St. Paris, Ohio. And now for his remarks, Judge Top. Well, what a wonderful uh, cow to start the class here in our Swiss show. A cow, you admire this cow for her straightness across the top line. She's extremely straight and correct, but she's also the best foot and leg cow in the class and also got the best dry memory system as well. She's a cow that has that sharpness and dariness, the strength across her top to go overhead of the beautiful balanced cow coming out in the second. You admire the second place cow. She's a cow. She's got that beautiful uphill run. Maybe not as strong today in her top line today. Also not as level from fours to rears today as our winning dry cow in the class. But she goes over our third place cow. Third place cow is one of the youngest cows in the class. She's a cow that's three years old, getting ready to calve here later this fall. You admire this cow for the snugness of memories she has. Beautiful fore udder, high wide rear udder attachment for a dry memory system. Just like to strengthen her up in that loin to get ahead of the two cows above her. But she does have that correctness of memory system. She's snugger in her fore udder attachment than a beautiful well balanced cow coming out in fourth. You admire the fourth place cow. She's a cow, you admire the openness of rib, the hardness across the top she has. Just like to strengthen her up in that fore udder, maybe give her a little more height to the rear udder day in that dry memory system. But she goes ahead of the cow in fifth on that depth and openness of rib today over the beautiful stylish cow coming out in fifth. You admire the fifth place cow for that sharpness and dariness, the angularity. Just don't have the openness and the balance to get her any higher in the class. But I am giving give her advantage. She's a little bit stronger in her pasterns today over the sixth place cow. I'm also giving her advantage. She's a little snugger in her udder attachments as well than a beautiful, well-balanced cow coming out in sixth. And sixth over seventh, I'm just giving her advantage. A little more width from behind over the real nice cow coming out in seventh. But a nice group of dry cows to start out our Swiss show.